Okay guys, welcome back and sorry for being away for a long time but now I'm here uh, to show you to show you how to go ahead with your uh, with, with the study of your wings of your wing you are trying to, to build up so in the previous chapter we saw that um, we saw this wing already built up with uh, uh, yep rebuild yes <coughs> no no we saw our wing with uh, all the components and uh, <coughs> every other type as, as the aileron, the servo, the link and also we have some moving part the horn and uh, all kind of stuff very nice but unluckily or unfortunately as you want you cannot do the CFD on the swing because because the surface which is here and represents the the wrapping around the wing has a zero thickness zero thickness so SOLIDWORKS does not recognize the thickness of the surface and uh, the results you might have will be uh, completely wrong because the, the air will uh, pass through the surface and going inside the wing so this is not uh, the reality what happens so this kind of sketch is useful only for for building the the inner parts of the wing of course we have um, this is a one type of wing I mean you mm, some of you may cut this piece in uh, and reinforce in order to avoid uh, some kind of uh, if you collide with ground on with something you can save your wing this is just an idea I mean I will I'm showing you how to build uh, then then it's up to you to choose the the right position to choose a, a cylindrical a carbon fiber or just a going back to our model surface has zero thickness so you cannot build a CFD on this wing so what you have to do in this case I will show you of course don't save I build up the same wing but solid no no ribs no carbon fiber nothing 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 else I mean I will show you what there is inside as you can see there is nothing just wood but the profile the dimension the ailerons and everything is exactly the same so how I did it it's very very easy I will show you backwards so this is my profile uh, sorry one moment uh, okay this is our profile our starting profile if you recognize we have the aileron the the hole for the linking for the linkage sorry and uh, that's it so then what I did was build up extruding the profile so as you can see this is the solid profile nothing more just silly I mean this is very useful so then we need to cut this piece 
how I did it okay remember that the aileron was uh, if I remember well was um, 80 85 millimeters in width and uh, six 600 millimeters in length so as you can see here there is a cut so I built a square a rectangle sorry which the dimension I, uh, I need and this is 80 84.5 and six 695 because I left the five millimeters on the um, on the edge once you have done the this rectangle I will show on top you have to make an extruding so I will show you this is a silly extruder I mean you just select select the profile and then click ex extrude in both directions and through all pay attention on through all and then you will get a hole nothing nothing more then we have <coughs> this little hole which is built in the same way I mean you choose your profile and then extrude through all that's it easily so this wing is built up only for CFD nothing more nothing for building nothing for weight uh, for weight evaluation uh, no forget about it once you have done this the the wing of course by using the technique uh, in the uh, from the previous chapters you have to build up also the aileron so the aileron is another file I mean this is an assembly it is not just a single single part as you can see so the aileron is almost like the same you can use no sorry you do not do not use this aileron because this aileron has um, use the surface so is um, is uh, zero thickness so you will get um, bad results so you have to build another aileron but this is quite easy I mean I will show you it. this is the same I mean you you start from the from the original file and then you cut and uh, erase places and then you made us a, a easy extrude nothing more and then the hole which is a a cutting from the same hole so this is it this card changes because I don't want it so after after this we have our solid wing and uh, with the aileron moving so now it is it's time to to make some some computation of fluid dynamics just for curiosity or just if you are interested in, in dimensioning a good uh, aileron I mean you can use it I have already done it because it takes mostly 40 40 minutes in a, a per each case so we see that I did uh, two studies two projects minus 45 degrees and uh, plus 15 degrees so you can you can add uh, uh, more more projects you have to it is uh, easy I mean you may not new project and then go ahead and will be saved in the same in the same road you can you do not uh, have to do 10 10 drawings 10 identical drawings for 10 projects you can you need just one I will show you 
the first one and then the other okay so I have I did uh, just uh, some common sketches okay this is a plus 45 degree uh, 45 plus 15 degrees oh sorry shit okay sorry but <laughs> solid work uh, did crash so nothing uh, is not a problem okay so we have a uh, minus 45 degrees and plus 15 how you how do you choose these degrees I mean you have to do this uh, circle and then trace trace uh, um, some lines at a precise uh, distance I mean every every sector is 5 degrees so this is plus 40 plus 15 and the other is minus 45 so we exit we hide it and then okay okay go back to the results and then we say edit definitions and oh sorry remember to load your results otherwise you cannot see anything and then show as you can see this is the shadow of the aileron at minus 45 degrees so we can uh, put in this way okay um, some I will show you some tricks okay streamlines is allows you to show the, the streamline and then you can choose what do you want to see on streamline I mean velocity vorticity and you can add some parameters but not so much the, in this case for this kind of study okay SOLIDWORKS is a good uh, starting point but it is not mm, uh, not the rule I mean do you need uh, some uh, some serious CFD like uh, COMSOL or ANSYS okay we show uh, velocity and then we apply and you can see the vortex behind the aileron and if you want to see the difference you sh you can add another plane and um, okay edit definition we say um, dynamic pressure velocity okay these are most mostly identical and you can move and this is you can see the difference of uh, the influence of the of the aileron I will show you another one and uh, then I will switch to plus 15 degrees yeah okay um, you can if you are interested in two you can push play and you can see all the the, the, the variation and I mean it's just for study so it's up to you you can you, you have to choose what to see okay then we hide this we hide this and then we switch on surfaces and um, okay this is the the pressure the relative pressure in uh, acting on the wing and uh, we can see very cool things I mean we have a, a vacuum at zero not zero but minus minus 470 Pascal in this point and uh, this means that this part is going to to stall and uh, in conversely in the lower part we have an increase 
in the in pressure so this will move uh, upwards or depend also on the angle of attack but by this way we have this information you can of course you can make it more cool and then uh, add 255 cores but less is better because you can see the, the regions a uh, cool thing is uh, the flow trajectories and you have to choose you have to choose um, the where do you want to apply the 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 flow lines and then you click OK and you choose what do you want to to study velocity total pressure dynamic pressure viscosity prance stagnation and I mean it's cool we can see here the vortex behind the wing this one which is caused by <coughs> it's caused because this is due to um, because we have our tip since the pressure above the wing is higher and the pressure below the wing is lower there is a a tendency of the air below the wing to go above the wing so this cause a trailing vortex this reduce the the lift on of the wing because this part is not available I mean we can see here and uh, this this part is not available so for the for reduce the efficiency of the wing um, you have to build a wing tip the which we see in another chapter or maybe you can see on episode 2 I did some some simulation on, on a wing tip but this is uh, the reason to of the existence of the wing tip is to enhance the mm, the efficiency of the wing I will show you another cool thing um, <laughs> okay. no uh, okay is not fixed okay we can see also the effects here and uh, you choose okay we see the lifting the, the pressure acting upwards and then if we click play we see the vortex 
the wing tip vortex which here is higher than the other okay then we will move to plus 15 degrees so you we activate we load results okay so now we are going down I mean is the, the the aileron is upwards so we saw we see the shadow and the effects on uh, which, what is this uh, this is vorticity or oh, this is uh, I was doing something I will show you the dynamic pressure okay then we adjust the color at the plot uh, plot maximum and minimum and okay this is the effect on the of the aileron going upwards so we see an increase in uh, sorry we see we see a decrease an increase in uh, pressure here dynamic sorry and also if we remember that the the wing is going down so the pres the pressure is increasing here is pulling down the wing and uh, we can see also velocity okay reset plot maximum and um, we show the flow trajectories and uh, we edit and we will see okay so we now push play and Also here we have uh, our trailing vortexes and that's it I mean in the next in the next uh, episodes we will see the dihedral building of the wing and uh, th his behavior in uh, on the on the um, aircraft stability sorry about um, being a long time uh, without making a video but I was busy on other things and of course trying to study and giving some good hints that's it and uh, I hope did you enjoy and I would like to thank uh, all the sus subscribers which I I really appreciate their their effort and thank you very much thank you thank you very much and have a nice day and I hope that this can help you in whatever you're needed if you want to treat something special 
just send me a message or an email and I will try to to solve all your questions and also to build up a, a tutorial uh, thank you very much and uh, have a nice day ciao